So what happened was we were driving through Oklahoma and a, uh, we were passing an 18 wheeler on the road, like on the left, and there was a car in front of us doing the same thing. The car was a good, you know, seven or eight car lengths in front of us and um, they just turned really suddenly while we're passing the 18 wheeler and there's a wheelbarrow in the lane. So now we're stuck between the 18 wheelers on the side of the trailer and there's a wheelbarrow in front of us. There's no way we can brake before it. So I had to like slam on the gas and shoot the gap between the 18 wheeler and the wheelbarrow, which sent us like flying towards off the highway. So I had jerk real hard left and the whole thing just started shaking. We call this the shakening. This is what happened. This whole trailer started going up on these two tires, then slamming down and going up on those oh, two tires. Shit. It was insane. And while this is happening, me and Ben are in the car just kind of freaking out. Now, I can't hit the brakes or else we're just going to tip over, right? So I have to keep hitting the gas and turning into each shift, right? And meanwhile, in the, the mirrors, I can see this thing just ripping off the vehicle. And there's wood underneath here. You could like get in there. And the, the, like, the stuffing is just flying out and pieces of wood are flying out of this thing. Yeah. And Ben the whole time is yelling at me, relax, <laughs> relax, calm down. Uh, but we survived. Um, and it was nothing a little tape thing. Oh, freedom, oh, freedom over me, and before I'll be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. We just get 60% of the population on board with localization. If we can just take this first step towards freedom together of dissolving the federal government. And one of the most exciting things about this campaign for me is that we're organizing active duty military and veterans against militarism itself. We already have Military for Kokesh is a, a strong, vibrant group on Facebook, and we have a lot of really exciting plans for that. You saw we did a, a veterans march on the White House for Ron Paul in 2012. We got some big things planned for this because this is even more fundamental than that. And I think anybody who understands freedom and how it relates to nonviolence understands that if you want to confront statism and you want to increase freedom, you have to confront militarism directly because it really is the violent underpinning of the state. I think the most support you can do for the military is to not send them over there in harm's way to get killed to begin with. And if you are going to send them over there, then you sure as hell better be taking care of them when they get back here. As and I mean, what was it, Kissinger who said that the military men are like dumb animals to, to be used as pawns in our foreign policy. And I think that, you're, that you really do have the moral high ground in this, in this position, uh, not only the military stance of it, but the you know, decentralization. You know, you're not trying to force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do, and you want to give them more control, so that way they have a greater likelihood of doing what it is that they wanted to do in the first place. Uh, so when people call you extreme, or people call me extreme, you know, it's like, yes, I'm, you know, extreme, I, I want... Yes. I'm extremely loving, I'm extremely practical, I'm extremely moderate, and extremely broad in the appeal of what I'm putting forth, because it's the everybody gets what they want strategy. Yeah, I think someday, you know, people probably study this time of history of, you know, how the media was able to manipulate so many people into thinking war was a great idea, or to thinking, you know, we could be over in Afghanistan for 16 years, and... You know, you know, kind of like an Operation Mockingbird, you know, 2.0 of you know how the military-industrial complex was to condition the average American. My favorite Ron Paul quote is, "You don't need to go to Iraq to read the Constitution." And I think he was making a bigger point there. You don't need to go to war yourself to know that it's the greatest evil that humanity is capable of.